Hello and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Steph and today I'm super excited because I'm collabing with my beautiful friend and chameleon sister Marina. Um, I will make sure to have Marina's channel and video linked in the description box below if you don't know who she is already, um, which if you're not new to my channel you really should. But if you don't, please go check her out. She does the most beautiful colourful looks and oh she's amazing i love her so very much we are both huge fans of nomad cosmetics so we decided we would do a collab using the nomad verona love and death palette it is stunning you've got the two sides so on this side you have these beautiful reds and then on this side you've got your darker more deathly shades deathly shades um but yes anyways um i believe marina has yet to do a look using two looks one different look on each eye i will get there eventually so that is what we are going to be doing in today's video so on one eye the magnet on this is so good on one eye we'll be using this side and then on the other eye this side so I'm going to start with this side today I've already primed this eye using the Ace Beauté eyeshadow amplifying base I have it in light I love it um, so yes I am going to get on and use this shade which I don't know how to pronounce at all um, Zwill. Anyways, I'm not gonna butcher the names that I can't pronounce, so I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna start with that one, anyways. So, I first met Marina um, because she was a subscriber to my channel. I then found out she had a channel and was super excited, so I had to check her out. We collabed, our first collab was with Erica Conga, also, so the three of us collabed and it was so much fun marina does a lot of um get ready with me's and looks using lots of different lots of different brands she does have i believe all if not nearly all of the odin's eye palettes as well as the nomad palettes so you will see a lot of these these kind of brands on her channel I have already used this palette I know I love it so we are just having fun with the looks today I'm thinking of doing a halo eye kind of we'll see but yeah this color is just so beautiful it's such a beautiful red yeah I don't often do halo eyes so I'm trying to do them a little bit more we'll see how that goes i think i am gonna wing it out just a little bit just because i prefer that shape on my eye shape yeah we'll get there <laughs> yeah i'm super excited to be collabing with marina i absolutely love the look she does she's so incredibly talented yeah, like I said, if you like colourful looks, Marina's another one of your girls. And she's just so calming. She's got this really calming... I love to watch Marina's videos when I need a calming influence and some inspiration. Because she does know how to put her colours together beautifully. Oh, that's so pretty. That's so pretty and then I am gonna bring that I think on the inner part here just I should have used a smaller brush but never mind we're we're there now um yeah nomad cosmetics is one of my favorite brands and also one of Marina's favorite brands I believe I pick up all of their releases I think the only releases I haven't picked up of 
um, since the Ice and Fire and Ice one have been like the Christmas ones. But. I'm gonna just gently connect it, I think. They just always put together such beautiful colour stories. And quite a lot of the times more unique colour stories as well. I just have to say their Ice and Fire and Ice palette is possibly my, my favourite palette probably the most used palette I own it is such a unique color story that at first glance doesn't look like it should work together the colors should work together but they really do I've only used this palette a couple of times so I'm I'm just having a great time playing with it. What do I want to do around the edge? Okay. So I think I'm going to use balcony, which I can pronounce, fortunately. <laughs> I'm going to use this one to blend out the edges. So guys, how many of you are Nomad fans? And how many of you have not tried anything from Nomad yet? They are an American indie brand, but their palettes are always themed and it's themed on places they visited and the colour stories match. They're inspired by that place. Got a hair on my lip. And I just think they do such a good job representing these places with these colour stories. And their formula is amazing. It's so easy to work with. I just, it's one of my favourite eyeshadow formulas to work with. Look at that. I'm just going to go back in just to make sure we haven't lost this depth in the shade. That's so pretty. I'm going to pop a bit of my Kyma Cosmetics glitter primer just on the centre just to add a bit of extra tack for it to stick to. I do only use the tiniest bit. I don't even know if you can see there how tiny the bit I use is. But it's just a little bit just to add a bit of tack because I am one of them people when I use my original eye primer I do take it all over my lid as well. I know that a lot of people don't and I tried not doing it but then I found that I didn't blend into I just found that the blend changed. I don't know if that's just me. Yeah, that's so pretty. Okay, right, what do we want on the center? Ooh. I think actually I'm gonna use two. So I'm going to use comedy, this one, um, for kind of the outer parts. And then I'm gonna use Cupid on the very center. Right. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Super sparkle. That's so beautiful. And I'm also going to take that on this inner. So basically, it's just against against the the mat, both sides. I really suck at describing things. I apologise. Hopefully, you get it. Um, 
what you can see. This is so pretty. So, so pretty. I'm not leaving the hugest gap in the middle. Because although I want it to sharp in the middle, I then want it to blend into the shade. Look how pretty that is. Now I'm taking it right into the mat just because it, it feels right. <laughs> I'm not very good at planning looks because I kind of find that the better looks come out when you just kind of go with it. And go into Cupid. Oh. And then just place Cupid right up the centre there. I'll blend once I've once I've got it placed. Look at that. These shades are stunning. I'm super excited to see Marina's looks because I know they're gonna be awesome and whilst i know that yes they're going to be using the same color stories they're going to be completely different so we both have a very different style and i love that about makeup that it's very much a personal thing just blending it in the edges there oh my god that looks stunning i love that right. i'm just going to quickly deepen up using that matte just the very inner and outer parts and ever so slightly it's there oh that is looking so pretty I don't often use reds and I don't know why because I do really enjoy a red look. I just find that I don't always, I'm, I'm not always at best at knowing how to make it look different, if that makes sense. But yes, oh my word, look at that. That's looking beautiful. So I'm going to quickly prime this eye so that we can get started with that one. So yeah, just stay where you are. Okay, so my eye is now primed, so we are heading on over to this beautiful side and I am going to go in first with Death, the black, of course. Oh, crikey, and make an absolute bracket. And I'm going to take that first just on this very very inner part of my lid and try and bring that at an angle i'm not going to take this as high because i'm going to be using another deep shade yeah to there that'll do that'll do this black is a really nice black, really, really easy to work with. And then again, just not taking it too high, just do about there. Making sure to wing out a little bit though. So at least kind of shape matches the other side. This is a really nice black to work with. I do love it when a palette has a black in it. That is so good. Okay. Okay. And then I am going into Poison this beautiful deep blue I'm 
these shades are so stunning. I'm keeping it kind of mostly on where I've put that black, but just taking it ever so slightly, ever so slightly over the edge. Ever so slightly, she says. Going a little bit higher than, oh no, that that's okay. That's okay. Halo eyes are not my, not my speciality, <laughs> but I am trying to practice them more so I get a bit better at them. I do love how they look. Let's have a think. I think, oh crikey, so I wanted to use the grey. I am going to use the grey. Okay. So I am next going to go in with Tomb. This one up here. And I'm going to use that just to blend those edges a bit I think these opposite eyes actually are going to look really cool it's funny I never used to be a fan of grey eyeshadow I really come to love it I do especially love it along with like purples and kind of dust dusky pinks but I'm definitely learning to appreciate grey grey eyeshadow that much more it's nice how we grow on our journeys our tastes never stay the same although I think my love for green is a forever love but I'm definitely developing some new loves I think that just comes with kind of practicing with different colors and formulas and just time I'm not mentioning age because I don't believe age has anything to do with it that looks stunning Yeah, I really like how that's looking. Okay, so let's pop a bit of the Kyma Cosmetics Glitter Primer on. Okay. So the first shimmer I'm going in with, in with is Tragedy, this one down here. I'm just going to do the same as I did on the other side. So this is going to be towards the inner and outer parts. So pretty. Look at that Jerry Crime. See that purp real purple in there. It's stunning. I think I have found that the shimmers in this particular palette from Nomad are slightly harder pressed than the shimmers in their other palette so you do kind of have to scratch it up a little bit but that's okay when they look like this it's so beautiful so just on different areas of the eye it looks different I suppose it's where the light's catching differently. So pretty. Again, just leaving a smaller line up the center there. Oh, that's so pretty. And then for the center, I'm going into Juliet, this one. 
I did let me know about the gold, but gold's not one of my favourite shades to use. Plus, I think this is going to look nice. Yeah, look at that. Still keeps it dark, but with a slight bright, slight brightness. And just blending it a little bit into either side. So it's not just just a complete stripe. That's pretty. I'm just gonna take a little bit more at the centre there. Uh, how beautifully those colours go together right and then I am going to go back in to the blue the dark blue poison the matte and just do the same as I did on the other side and just add that kind of depth back and blend the matte and the shimmer together I'm loving how this is looking both sides okay i'm gonna nip off and pop on my base and i'll come back and we'll do the lower lash line together so yeah just wait there a moment my base is done everything i've used i will list in the description box below for you to check out should you wish to however i do want to give a shout out to this new face palette i have because i am in love with it and this is the little beauty oh my god face um this is from pout and shout the uk indie brand that does my favorite blushes of all time um this is naughty torty and it is this gorgeous face palette um this i use as a blush generally although i haven't used that this shade here is my perfect contour then i use this to bronze and this to top the bronze and i'm just in love with how it makes my look makes my look my skin makes my skin look so yes i wanted to give it a shout out so now let's get on with the palette <laughs> so for my under eyes on this side we're going to do first i'm going to go into the one that i can't pronounce first the deeper one and then i think i'm going to blend it out with I think I'm going to blend it out with, oh crikey, probably Balcony and then Paradise or maybe, oh, or should I go for, I might go Light and then Paradise actually, yes, we're going to do that. So into the one I can't pronounce first, which is the deepest shade. And I'm going to take that just on a tiny brush, just right up, right up against my lash line. And then just connecting it to, to the top there. <laughs> I'm going to bring that pretty much all the way across. But I'm just dragging it that way rather than adding there and then blending so add it over here and then just drag it along the lash line pretty <laughs> and then i'm gonna go into light just to use a couple of the different colors i don't know if i'm gonna need to blend it out with paradise i still might we'll see we'll see yeah, I think I will need to actually look at that. These shades are so beautiful and look how they blend into each other. I'm so excited to see what Marina's done, especially with this side because she's so much better at working with these shades than me. 
So I'm super excited to see what what both looks, but especially this one turns out like. Okay, let's get a little a little floofyish one and go into Paradise, which is that lightest shade. And then I'm just going to use that, yeah, just to blend a lot right along the edge there. Just to make sure we don't have a harsh line. That's so pretty. These shades are beautiful. I need to challenge myself to work a bit more with kind of reds and reds and pinks together because I do really love the colours. I just I think most of the time I do tend to head more cool toned. But look at that. That does look beautiful. And then should we do the inner? Yeah, I'll just finish this side before I go on. Actually, I don't know as there's much of an inner corner and brow bone highlight in this side. Mm. I'm just going to go into that deepest shade again. And just because I want to make sure that this, this area is proper deep and blended. That. I think it's an aging eye thing like all, all these lines here don't help age is not helpful but I still think that looks beautiful I love it do I want to put a little bit of colour on me I think I do but I need to find a brush you'll do so I'm actually going to use the other shimmer I'm going to go into Romeo, and then I've used both Romeo and Juliet today. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of that on this brush. And I'm going to take that just on this inner part here, just to add that bit of sparkle. God, that does look beautiful, doesn't that? Popping it up a little bit, just closer to the lash line. Yeah, I love that. That looks beautiful. Okay, so now over to the death side. That doesn't sound right saying that. And I'm going to first go into... Oh, I think I might change that the underneath i'm actually going to go in with poison first i'm not going to bring the black down just that deep blue and that one right up against the lash line and again the same as the other side i'm just going to drag it inwards not adding it to the inner side I'm doing that so you can see. I do hope so. Beautiful. Make sure I've got the depth on this outer part here, especially. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And then I'm going to go into dark, which is this shade here. And I'm going to take that right almost on top of it. So it's just kind of peeking over. That's so pretty. These shades are just amazing. I love them. Look at that. 
I do love my my more cool tones. I'm going to bring that up so that it kind of blends up and into it. And just adding a little bit more here just to make sure the depth stays out here. I love that. That's so beautiful. Right, so let's find a fluffier brush for this side. And then I'm going to go into Dagger, which is this one here, which looks a lot deeper on camera, I think. And I'm just taking that on a little fluffy, really open fluffy brush. I'm just going to use that just to make sure that there's no harsh edges. I'm taking it all the way up. It's so pretty. And then just in with a little bit of that, a little bit of that dark blue, just to make sure that it's blended and it's so pretty. That's so pretty. Okay, and now for the inner part of my lower lash line. Oh, do I want to go in with the gold? I'm going to have to because I haven't used it. So I'm going to go in with Moore's. More? This one? I haven't got my glasses on as well, so I can use that excuse too. Right. And then... On the inner part, yeah, that is pretty. That does look very pretty. Okay, super excited to see marinas. I'm loving that. I think I'm going to have to add a little bit. I'm just going in with just a little bit more of that one on the inner part there, just because this one's brought down just a little bit more. I don't want them to look like significantly different. They're so pretty. I'm loving how these are looking. Okay, guys, so I'm now going to nip off and finish my face. I will come back to show you the finished looks and have a, another quick chat with you about our beautiful marina. So if you'd like to see that and hear that, then don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so I'm back with the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Which one's your favourite? The love side or the death side? I love both of them. Um, before I go chatting some more, I'm going to quickly let you know just a few of the bits that I popped on my eyes and my face. Just so you know. Um, so for the liner, I used the Artitude Cosmetics Duochrome Cake It Liner in the shade I think it's Revolution yeah I think it went with both sides really nicely so yeah I went for it the lashes I can't remember where they're from they're one of the many loose pairs of lashes I have dotted around the place so I just thought they went beautiful so I use them. Um, in my waterline on the love side, I use the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Insomniac. And then on this side, I use the Colourpop Cream Gel Liner in the shade... Oh, crikey, what shade are you? UTLA? Something like that. UTLA? It's rubbed off a bit. Um, I think it's VTLA? UTLA. 
this one anyways um, and I use both of these um, this one on the outer and this one on the inner and ombre them together and then just pop some lip balm over top um, just to tie in the eye look and the lips eye looks and the lips together um, I thought it'd be a bit of fun but yeah for my inner corner and brow bone highlight on this side well for both sides I went into the Saints Angel Sinners and Ice Cream Beauty collab palette yummy and for my love side I went into Tutti Fruity which looks like this it's stunning and then on my death side that sounds so funny I went into Candy Girl they're just absolutely stunning and I thought I needed something just a little bit brighter for my blush I went into the fairy blush palette from likely makeup I love this little palette and then for the love side I used rose quartz and then for the death side I used amethyst and yeah I think I think they went beautifully for my highlighter I used the same both sides and I went into my Unearthly Cosmetics low light palette I love this and I used low light so yeah that's I think everything that I wanted to let you know that I popped on also so yes the two looks with the Nomad Cosmetics Verona Amor y Muerte Morte, amor y morte, mort. I don't know how to say it. The Verona Love and Death palette. It is an absolutely stunning palette. I've loved playing with it again, and I'm trying to do it so that the mirrors don't reflect too much. Yeah, that's not going to happen. This palette is absolutely stunning. I've loved playing with it again. I cannot wait to see what Marina's looks. I like in particular the love side but both um this has been so much fun marina is just such a beautiful wonderful person just in general in life she is so talented she is just i love her so so much and it's just always such a pleasure to collab with her again like i said if you don't know who she is please 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 go check her out both her channel and video will be linked in the description box below. I can guarantee if you love colourful makeup, you'll love her. She's just calming and beautiful and talented and amazing. Marina, thank you so, so much for collabing with me again. This has been so much fun. I can't wait to hear how you've got on doing two different eyes and I can't wait to see your looks. So guys if you've enjoyed this video please do give it a like it helps me out i think um if you are new here if you've come over from marina's channel or if this is your first time here in general hi i'm steph i am a huge colorful makeup lover i love to support indie brands and if all of that sounds like something you'd be interested in please do hit the subscribe button come and join my beautiful chameleon family and yeah Thank you so much for spending this time with me. I appreciate you so very, very much. And I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye. Yeah. Stepping in the spa like she own it. Looking like the world is your runway. She can set it off like a gunplay. Oh my. Yeah. Talk of the city with the body. Like it's Sunday She said, baby, what you gonna do about it?